I had, well, let's see. Tell me, is this at too high a level of abstraction? You mentioned that this, uh, everything you're discussing here uh, is based on a system of money. Can one conceive of a, a system operating without money? Are, are we on? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that we're, we're talking about very concrete questions. Uh, can we think about a different social order? Yeah, I think we can think about a very different social order. Uh, getting rid of money is one part of it, which I don't think is the crucial part. Uh, the crucial part is getting rid of uh, tyranny. Uh, we happen to be living in a system which would have driven the founding fathers up the wall uh, and which uh, and any enlightenment figure like Adam Smith or someone would have found horrendous. It's a, it's a tyrannical system in which power is more and more going into the hands of totalitarian structures which are unaccountable, uh, namely private corporations. The, the, as has long been understood, these are tyrannical structures. They are like totalitarian states. They combine in the command center uh, judicial, uh, legislative, and executive powers. They're pretty much unaccountable to anyone. They're huge in scale by now. They, they, they were created for distorting markets, and they carry out extreme market distortion. Like in, they, they internalize risk. Uh, they, don't, they free participants from market discipline. And they have a million other ways of uh, undermining markets, whether one thinks markets are good or bad. Uh, in any event, these are tyrannical systems which have no right to exist any more than other tyrannical systems, and they have an extraordinary effect over life. I mean, they are the media. When we talk about the media reflecting their interests, that's, uh, you know, like saying, I reflect my interests. Uh, yes, of course they do. The, uh, it's not just the media, it's the entertainment industry and, you know, advertising and so on. This is all a reflection of a network of private tyrannies. They have an overwhelming effect on government. Uh, they don't like government because government has a defect. It's partially influenceable by the public, whereas GE is not influenceable at all. So the idea, so they've been trying to create for 50 years, they've been trying to create a mood of anti-politics, you know, hate the government. True, we have the government pretty much by the throat, but it's not totally. Those guys out there can still influence it. So let's get them to hate the government, in particular to hate the federal government. State governments aren't so bad. They're small enough so we can really run them totally. Federal government is fairly large, and you know you can't kick them around too much. Uh, that's the point behind the devolution, getting things down to the state level. Under some circumstances, it might be democratic. Under these circumstances, it's anti-democratic. You move things down to the state level, and even middle-sized businesses can tell them what to do. Uh, it's at the government national level. Well, okay, maybe you know Microsoft and GE, but not small guys. Uh, so let's get power down. Decision when you when you when you take say uh, um, AFDC any any kind of so-called welfare system, you put it down to the state level. You're guaranteeing that it's not going to go to poor people, because at that level even middle-sized businesses can insist upon regressive fiscal measures and shift in the tax code and this, that, and the other thing, which will mean that the money goes to the rich. Uh, at the federal level, it's harder. You're pushing around the bigger things. So the idea is get re reduce the federal government except for the parts that work for us. Like, and those increase, like the Pentagon say. So increase that one, because that works for us. But cut down the parts that work for anyone else, go down to the state level, uh, reduce them even further, put even more uh, decision-making into the hands of private, unaccountable power. That's the core of the system, and that's what's got to be dismantled totally. I mean, it has no legitimacy, comes out of the same intellectual roots as fascism and Bolshevism, and ought to be dismantled the same way. Uh, where you go from there, well, you know, there one could discuss. Uh, there are lots of ways in which you could have a democratically run society. Uh, it's worth discussing and thinking about, but the existence of money, it seems to me, is a side part of it. Uh, maybe money should be part of a decent society, maybe it shouldn't. I suspect it probably should, uh, some form of means of exchange, but it's kind of like a technical question on the side. The real question is tyranny. <laughs>